Hello, hello everyone. I am Zamir Sheikh. Uh, today we will discuss about uh, the concept in the inorganic chemistry, uh, the term symbol. A term symbol is nothing but it is a symbolic representation of an element. Particularly, we can find out the term or the energy state for a free atom or for a single electron as well as for the multi electron system. Now, uh, the term symbols are represented in the, the simple formula 2s plus 1 l and j so that uh, 2s plus 1 is a spin multiplicity uh, in which that s nothing but the total spin capital l nothing but the uh, orbital quantum number <coughs> that that is starting from what 0 1 2 3 which is denoted as s p d f and j is a total angular quantum number so uh, let's start first of all so what exactly the quantum number before starting this term symbol we must know or we must go on through what the quantum numbers now there are four different types of quantum numbers one is principal quantum number that decide the energy levels which is starting from what one two three four etc second is called orbital quantum number which is denoted by small l and represented by 0 1 2 3 which indicated at s p d f uh, what is the use of that principal quantum number decide the energy level orbital quantum number decide uh, the sub energy level now third one is a magnetic quantum number that magnetic quantum number nothing but the ml which decide the magnetic orientation with respect to that orbital so s orbital always have zero ml value p orbital are splitted into the three that is px py pz that's why the three values are there starting from one positive one to negative one okay this is negative d values are represented from positive 2 toward negative 2 and lastly f values are uh, in the form of what the positive 3 toward the negative 3 and lastly the spin quantum number so that spin quantum number is denoted by ms which is equal to what the plus or minus half now let's start with the, the s electron system now we have the two different types of electronic configuration in s orbital either what ns1 or either what the ns2 now in ns1 so we have what single electron present where the spin is equal to half and ml value for that is zero that's why the term should be what uh, s so basically from that s value we can find out the 2s plus 1 so put in the value of that s in 2s plus 1 you get the result is the 2 into half plus 1 is equal to what the 2 so the terms of this state is what nothing but the 2s and that can be for named as what the or termed as what the doublet s similarly so basically that 2s is the term symbol for first group element now we have second group element that is ns2 in ns2 we can represent the two electron like this fashion so here the s is equal to 0 ml is equal to what 0 and from that we can find that the term is s where the spin of uh, that is nothing but the one, 2 into 0 plus 1 so must be 1 so basically this is called singlet s so now these are the two electronic configuration ns1 and ns2 and from that we can predict that so these two are the term symbols particularly for first group element and second group element so this is uh, simple about the first and second group element now let's move toward the p orbital configuration and for that p orbital configuration we have same equation is given now 2s plus 1 lj and now uh, you know that there are uh, six type different types of uh, electronic configurations are possible from b1 to p6 for p orbital the p orbitals are what dumbbell shape and they are distributed according to x and y and z axis we have px py pz where ml values are from positive 1 to what negative 1 okay and from that <coughs> we have different configuration first of all np1 configuration belongs to boron family and we can represent that electron in like this fashion okay and here only one electron so spin must be half okay ml value the electron is present in p orbital that's why ml value is one so put the spin value in the 2s plus 1 you get the answer is 2 into half plus 1 so must be 2 and from that ml value you get the answer is p so you can combine the spin multiplicity that is 2 and uh, your term is what dp that's why 2p is the orbital 2p is the, the term symbol particularly for what the boron family okay now similarly similarly what we have this np2 configuration now what is np2 it is in carbon family now the two electrons are present in the p orbital where the spin is one because plus half plus half is one that's why this 2s plus one is equal to three 
ml is equal to what 1 because this is 0 that's why we cannot count it so it must be 1 so 1 forward the p term so that's why 3 and p so it is a 3p term is possible for p and p2 configuration let's move forward to the nitrogen family that is np3 where the three electrons are present according to Hans rule we have to obey this electronic feeling so plus one zero minus one in this way this is plus one cancel with the minus one so the ml value should be zero s must be half 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 that is three by two so according to the spin multiplicity rule 2s plus one is equal to four and your term should be what s because ml is equal to zero that's why the term symbol is what the four s so all the nitrogen family all the elements of nitrogen family are have the 4s type of a uh, term symbol now oxygen family that is np4 where the four electrons are present fourth electron must be paired so s must be 1 2s plus 1 that gives the 3 and uh, that ml is equal to 1 basically uh, again 3p okay this is 3p is the term symbol for what nitrogen oxygen family sorry now next one halogen family we have np5 configuration so we have five different electrons so we can arrange in this fashion so spin must be half 2s plus 1 must be equal to 2 ml is equal to 1 here so the term should be p that's why 2p is the term symbol for nitrogen fam uh, so or halogen family that is have the np5 and lastly we have noble gas that is inner gas uh, configuration np6 where plus 1 0 minus 1 all becomes a field this is a fulfill configuration spin must be 0 so 2s plus 1 should be 1 and ml is equal to 0 that's why the term should be uh, s and that's why uh, singlet s okay or the you can count uh, you can term as what singlet s lastly you can summarize this p orbital according to that whole config whole formalism rule p1 must be equal to p5 p2 is equal to p4 p3 and p6 are different and from that we can find out the terms here so terms are nothing but the what for p1 p5 this is a 2p p2 p4 this is a 3p and uh, uh, we have lastly p3 uh, we have what the 4s and lastly we have p6 is equal to what 1s uh, here these terms are just differed by j value so for more than half fill that is p3 p4 p5 and p6 we can use the j l is equal l pluses and for less than half fill that is p1 p2 we can use what the uh, l minus s this is simple uh, term symbol particularly for all uh, whole of your pn configuration okay that is your p family that is the main group element chemistry okay now let's move toward uh, the dn configuration for the dn configuration now again same formula 2s plus 1 l and j there are total 10 electrons we are present from d1 to d10 and we can represent that electrons in what the five orbitals okay and that's why ml values are plus 2 plus 1 0 minus 1 minus 2 for that l values are possible l values are 0 1 2 3 4 that is spdf now let's move the first configuration is d1 so for the d1 electrons are present in plus 2 so that's why the s is equal to half 2s plus 1 should be 2 ml is equal to plus 2 that's why d term is there and that's why the term symbol for that is what 2d okay let's move to the d2 configuration we have spin must be 1 because plus half plus half 1 2s plus 1 should be 3 ml value is what 3 and the term should be what df so 3f is the point group uh, sorry tf 3f is the term symbol for what d2 configuration similarly we have a d3 in d3 where three electrons are arranged in this fashion according to Hertz rule spin must be 3 by 2 2s plus 1 should be what 4 and ml is equal to what d plus 2 plus 1 and this is 0 that's why 3 so again it is an 4f type of what uh, the term symbol for d4 we can arrange this electron s is equal to 2 2s plus 1 is equal to 5 ml is equal to what uh, 2 okay and a term should be what d that's why term symbol should be 5d for d5 configuration all the electrons should be mn2 plus system for example we have all the electrons are arranged in this fashion s is equal to 5 by 2 uh, must be equal to 2s plus 1 and lastly spin should be 6 multiplicity okay and ml because all the values are 0 so it should be s and that's why your term should be what d 6s okay let's move uh, toward the d6 system d6 system in which have the six electrons are there one should be paired the remaining all are unpaired s is equal to 2 2s plus should be 5 and uh, ml is equal to 2 and the term should be what d so the term should be what 5d now in d7 we have what four electrons are paired remaining are unpaired so spin must be 3 by 2 and uh, 2s plus 1 should be what 4 ml is equal to 3 the term should be f so the term symbol of the system is called a 4f now d8 in d8 system uh, three pairs of electrons and uh, two are unpaired so the spin must be one 
s is equal to 1 2s plus 1 should be 3 and the term should be what and now from that we can find out ml also you get the f value and so you get the 3f lastly for d9 and d10 we have this type of configuration and we can find out this is a 2d and 1s is the electronic configuration okay again this con this term symbols we have to just uh, know that what is j value now for more than half field we have to put uh, the l plus s that is from uh, d5 to onwards up to d10 and uh, for less than half field we have to use what the j is equal to l minus s and that's why we have these two different uh, j values are there now according to whole formalism we have this chart is given now and uh, this is called the summary of for d n configuration where this is the d n configuration this is called d n configuration and uh, this is term symbol res res with respect to that now d1 d9 have the same chemistry because d1 have nine hole and d9 have what nine electron so d1 is a nine hole one electron system and d9 is a nine electron one hole system so basically both have what the same term symbol that is in 2d for d2 d8 it is a 3f for d3 d7 it is a 4f for d4 d6 5d for d5 6s and d10 1s so they are just differed by j values okay from uh, we can call from d5 to onwards j is equal to l plus s and uh, that is j is equal to l plus s for what the d5 to d10 and uh, j is equal to l minus s this is for what the d1 to d4 etc okay and uh, lastly for fn configuration we can also have this, this one s f h this is s this is f term this is h term and this is i term okay i term now for that this is fn configuration and this is term symbol now from f0 that is lanthanide lanthanide plus 3 okay lanthanum plus 3 so we can just write f0 f1 f2 f3 f4 f5 up to d f7 similarly we can find out f0 must be equal to f14 zero unpaid electron here also 0 and build on f1 f13 f2 f12 f3 f11 f4 f10 f5 f9 f6 f8 and f7 is simple and from that we have what the 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 very simple and let's start with the terms s f h i and reverse thing is i h e f s that's why we have what the suffi s f h not a okay we have what the i in this way we can find out the term symbols of any fn configuration also but before that you must know the electronic configuration so this is very simple always uh, there is a question uh, and we, again we have what j must be find that j is equal to what l plus s for more than half field and uh, j is equal to l minus s for less than half field okay in this way this is very simple technique to find out uh, the term symbols of uh, s p d f all are the terms okay you can find out full elements okay, particularly okay and uh, thank you for uh, watching this uh, video okay if you like this you can subscribe thank you very much